Dawson Pitamakin. It's a um, it's an awesome, awesome loop that starts out over by the Two Medicine campground area, and uh, you can do it um, two, one of two ways. You can either do Dawson Pass first, or you can go around and do Pitamakin Pass first. And uh, my personal recommendation is Pitamakin first. Um, and uh, you know, you can email me and figure out why that is later on. But anyways, uh, the way to Pitamakin, um, you know, you start out in trees and you go over a little um, kind of a, it's just the ridge that comes off of Rising Wolf. And that is, I think that's one of the, the probably the last reason why I recommend doing Pitamakin first is because when you've hiked um, almost 18 miles, you come to that and you have to walk uphill. That's not very awesome. But, um, but that little place comes by a, a little avalanche, and um, this year we're watching a waterfall come off of Rising Wolf, which is pretty amazing. And um, but yeah, it's just a treat area, and it just keeps um, it just starts to open up into really fantastic views. And um, those views pretty much continue the entire day. And um, on the Pinamakan side, you pass Old Man Lake, and there's a bunch of it's just a stand of really cool trees. It's kind of um, kind of parked out and um, and there's a bunch of these, these old silvery trees which are really pretty and then and then that just drops right down into Old Man Lake which is a, a beautiful lake which you uh, get to see a few more times and then um, after Old Man Lake you start working your way up and uh, start to get into the old switchbacks and um, the uh, the switchbacks, you gain elevation and your views just keep keep getting better until you reach a saddle and then you're looking down on Pitamakan Lake and you can see little Morning Star Lake in the background and um, yeah, you're looking into the cup bank drainage and um, man, it is just pretty and also very windy. So make sure you have, as always, a uh, some sort of a windbreaker or rain jacket because uh, you'll definitely want that. And there's a, a bunch of bighorn sheep that frequent that area as well. I've seen them a few times on that Pinamakan slope. And, uh, but you know, one thing to, to know is that um, if you think it's windy on the Pinamakan pass side, uh, as soon as you uh, go over that ridge and go to the, the backside of uh, Mount Morgan there, holy cow, it definitely gets super breezy. Um, but the views get out of control. Um, you're looking down into the um, briefly into the Cole Nyack region, you get to go ahead and see um, Stimson just making its big 10,000 plus foot presence along with just a bunch of other peaks. And um, did I mention the views were great? Because they are, they're amazing. And um, you just walk along this uh, brown shale um, goat trail for a really long time and um, come to, the, to a saddle. And that saddle is between Morgan, which you've been walking by, and Flinch which uh, you will start walking around that one. And I mean, that looks down one more time on Old Man Lake. And then, uh, yeah, then you work your way around and come all the way over um, to the uh, Dawson Pass officially. And then, uh, and we ended up seeing a few more sheep over there. So that was, um, that was fun. And then work your way back down into uh, over by No Name Lake. And uh, you know, both Old Man and No Name are really cool spots to go ahead and camp at and uh, so if you want to you know make this a multi-day trip you're more than welcome to and probably a little bit recommended and uh, old man or no name lake after that you just uh, drop down into the trees and you know once again you're um, coming up alongside of two medicine and all that and two medicine is just really cool and you um, if you time it right which i think 520 is the last boat you can go ahead and float out and avoid a three mile walkout. But, um, but either way, it's about an 18 mile day, lots of vertical. It's probably one of the po most popular, really long loops. And uh, obviously, hopefully you can tell by some of this video that it's a uh, well worth the, uh, the exertion, um, but make sure you get an early start. And uh, if you see, start to see storms blowing in, um, also have the presence of mind to uh, call it another day because uh, you'll definitely want to uh, you'll get blown off um, if it because it gets crazy up there but uh, on a day like we had it's pretty much one for the books so Dawson Pitamakan or Pitamakan Dawson whichever way it's a uh, it's quite the trip
Oh, I lost the top one. Yep, he's kind of in the trees there. Okay, so where are the other ones? So the bottom one, if you go down the draw. So that I can see that one who just, he's just coming back out into the open. Oh, he's kind of in the trees again. Down here? The one, the one over that's up in there, the, uh, the first so one you showed one, me. There's one that's up high. He's just coming out of the tree yep, right now. Right, yep, I got that guy. And then, so go halfway oh, down Oh yeah, yeah, I can. Yep, I can see the one coming out of the draw really yes. close. Yeah, see, he's like right above the trail. Yeah, the other one's heading straight for the trail. Oh, there he's really in the open. It's really exciting yeah, I'm not no, on that trail good. anymore. That's what's exciting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got it. Yeah, I love these guys. They're killing me right now. They're so cute. Their accents make it all the better. Oh, that it is. Yeah. It's totally what my mom does. He really is, you guys. He's kind of moving. Okay. I'm calling that.